What's up everyone, Mattos Grub here and in today's video I'm going to do the top 5 Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies maps. Um, that is Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 and World at War, so let's get right into this. So my number 5 spot I have Buried. Now the reason I picked Buried is because it is actually very innovative, which is I love. Bank, definitely better than um, Transit and better than Die Rise. Rega Mark II was really, really good. Um, it's just ran out of ammo a little, little bit too quickly. Leroy or Arthur, and I call him Leroy. I he's just really good. You can do so much stuff with him. I did not know about. Um, Jog isn't really in the best spot unless you're doing camping there. But you know, if you're if you're a camper, then that's a really good spot. Otherwise, you're just gonna get cornered and you might get killed. Um, Paralyzer, I people don't like it because it's a new weapon. I think it's okay if you want to do like high road attempt to like 75 or something. There is good camping spots for that. Um, but altogether, it's it's a good map. Um, yeah, at my number four spot, I Revelations. Revelations, it's not. There's not really a map in itself. No, it's it doesn't really have its own map. It's the only bits of that is actually really a new map is spawn and the apothecary's mouth and stomach. Apart from that, it's just origins, nocturne, totem. Um, there is mob of the dead in there as well. There is Dorizon Draka, and there is Kino. I th oh um and. I forgot what it's called, but um, I'll probably put it up in text maybe if I can't really remember. But it is the one where it's like it's all scary. Um, and, you know, um, it's the second map made in, in the World at War. Um, in the first DLC, I really can't remember, but yeah, it's. It, there's also that one in it. Um, if I remember, I'll just say, oh, there it is. <laughs> um, you have the Apothecary Servant upgrade. You have the Thunder Gun. You have the Tommy Gun. You have some really good guns. And when you're playing with a friend, you will, if you want to actually revive each other, you will have to like stay near each other. Otherwise, you have to run like halfway across the map. It's just annoying. That's and the cussing. A few negatives, but mostly positives. It's really good. I love it. And yeah, that's my number four spot. Now, my number three spot, I have Kino to Toten. Um, Black Ops 1 version. Not, um, well, kind of Black Ops 3 version, but I do, in fact, like Black Ops 1 version more because the original, in my opinion, is always the best. Um, and, and I just really, really like it. Um, you know, it's it's ugh, it has an overcrawlers. That's an innovation, I guess you could say, but it's not the best innovation. But it, it's still quite nice. Um, that they also added the thunder gun. That's really cool. I really like it. Um, um. Oh yeah, it's also the first map that had the M1911 upgrade to the Mustang and Sally's. That's also really good. Just a lot of good innovation um so yeah at number two spot i have shino nima so the reason i have shino nima here is because i just love shino nima like going up to around 10 it's and like around 20 and around 30 it's just i don't know it's just really fun i do like the black ops 3 version a little bit more i don't know why it's just my preference um i just really really like it the graphics are very nice, um, and Black Ops 3 guns are actually quite good for it. I just really, really like it, it's just really good. Um, and the randomness, I really do like the randomness. They also have it in Nooktown. I just really actually do like the randomness. Um, you never know what you're gonna get. I have to like a bag of chocolates. Um, so yeah, and Shane Nim is my number two spot. From my number one spot, it's on every person's top fives, um, mostly one at number one spot, it is, of course, Origins. Now, 
Origins, I do like Black Ops 2 so, so much more than Black Ops 3. I just, I actually hate Black Ops 3. I, it's just, I just don't know what it is. I just don't like it. But Black Ops 2 Origins, I adore. It's so good. I, it's, I just love it. And I always, always use it use a fire staff because I remember every single upgrade for that and it's just a killing machine it, it sh fires three of those fireballs instead of like one lightning one ice and one wind um, and charged up it still shoots three um, I'm not the best it's second best it's just second best and everything really um, so yeah, because it's second best at everything, my favourite, it's just my favourite, and I like fire, I like red, and it's my favourite, boo, oh, what's that, boo, didn't I, yep, um, staff, <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, I am going to say one honourable mention, honourable mention, there goes, my grammar's terrible, and that is Jurais and Draco. No, I would have put that at number four, but then I remembered um, Revelations. I might actually in the future do um, an updated version, um, but yeah, this is just my list right now. And honorable mention is in fact Jurassic and Dracula because it's awesome. So this is my video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you had, smash a like button. Just smash everything, smash your TV, just smash everything, like, everything you see, just smash it, okay? Cool, um, so, um, I'll see you all in the next video, and peace.